Hey guys, welcome to Marcy Barker Fitness. I have a great question. This is kind of the very first step to losing weight or making a change in your lifestyle. I'm glad one of my clients asked this question because I have five different tips to go along with this question. Um, it is, how are they supposed to reach or eat the correct calories on rest days? So this particular person has a hard time not overeating on the days that they're not doing a ton of exercise. Because if you're not gonna exercise, you don't need to eat as many calories because your body's not expending them, okay? So I'm gonna help you figure out five different ways that you cannot overeat or start losing weight by eating less calories. Okay, you've always heard that you just need to move more and eat less and you will lose weight. It is true that you need a calorie deficit to lose weight, but I wanna make sure that you feel good while you're doing it. Cause you can be in a calorie deficit and still eat chocolate chip cookies. You know what, but you probably are not gonna feel that well if most of your calories are coming from simple carbs and sugar. So the very first tip, if you have a hard time eating too many calories, I want you to increase your protein intake. You guys are like, you want me to eat more food? Well, I want you to eat more of the right kind of food. The cool thing about protein is that it digests slower than carbohydrates. So you're gonna be fuller for longer and you're going to not want to eat so much. It's known to curb your cravings and help you feel more full. So a lot of people just eat because they feel hungry. If you eat protein, you're gonna feel less hungry less often. So that's pretty cool. Um, the next thing is you can pre-portion the food that you're gonna eat. One tip that I have is if you are eating dinner, if you're sitting down to eat dinner with your family, I want you to put all of your food on your plate first and then go sit down at the table and eat your food. Because when the food on the plate is gone, you're done with your meal. However, if you put all of the food on the table and then you say your prayers or whatever and then everybody just starts digging in, um, I know with my kids, sometimes if it's a meal that they love, they're gonna try and take more of it than anybody else because they want a lot of it before it's gone. And sometimes if we have the food right in front of us on the table, um, it's just an invitation to keep coming. And there's a lot of people who will eat the food just because they don't want it to go bad or they don't want it to go to waste. So if you feel like you're eating too many calories, I want you to first of all pay attention um, to how you are choosing to consume your calories. Are you putting them all on the table and saying free for all? Or are you gonna say, you know what? This is probably a serving. This is what I feel like I could be satisfied with. I will eat this and go sit down at the table. Another tip uh, that goes with this second one is you can eat on smaller plates. Sometimes if people have a huge plate, you know that when you go to a potluck and there's a big plate, you will fill your plate up. But if there are smaller plates, you're like, oh, I'm gonna have to be a little bit more selective in what I wanna pick. So you can have smaller plates. Um, you can even have smaller utensils so that you're more mindful about eating your food. Um, the third tip is make sure you're drinking enough water. A lot of people confuse hunger for just being thirsty which is crazy because a lot of people are dehydrated and sometimes when your body feels tired you think that your glucose levels are low and you need some energy well sometimes it's just that you're dehydrated and you don't have a ton of water in your body to help you function so if you are not drinking enough water drink enough water if you are drinking enough water i want you to think about where you can improve your water intake so maybe you can drink a big cup of water before you start to sit down and eat maybe you can drink your water first thing in the morning because you feel like you if you're hungry in the morning you will just eat everything because you haven't eaten in a long time so water intake watch that tip number four um, know what your BMR is BMR stands for basal metabolic rate this is the amount of calories that your body needs to sustain life at rest so if you are considering a rest day where you're not doing a deliberate workout you don't need a ton of calories so it's important to know what that number of calories is. If your goal is weight loss, you need to know what this number is. Um, but otherwise, you don't always have to calorie count. Like you do not have to calorie count. But this person has to be the question, they know that they're going over their calories. So if you know your BMR, you can eat as close to that number as possible. Um, and you can calculate your BMR. Um, there's plenty of different websites you can do that, but it's based on your height, um, your weight, and your age. And then your BMR is gonna be affected by your activity level. So if you're gonna do nothing all day, then eat your basal metabolic rate. That's the calories you need to just feel good at rest. Um, and that's a great thing because a lot of people don't know that. Um, and this person, I told her, I said, here's your BMR, it's 1472. She was using a random calculator that said she only needed 1200 calories. So number one, she was eating the wrong amount of calories for her body. So whereas she might have felt guilty for eating more calories, well, in reality, she just wasn't eating what she really needed. So find out what your BMR is and, and start from there. Tip number five, um, switch out your empty calories for nutrient dense foods. So uh, an example of nutrient or, or calorie, em empty calorie foods are like 
graham crackers or chips. Um, things that you can mindlessly eat, but they're micronutrient empty. So you may see there's a good amount of carbs, there's a good amount of calories, and you're like, okay, this is gonna fill me up. Um, it's gonna make me feel good, but maybe you're not feeling really well because you're not getting the nutrients you need from it. So uh, maybe instead of picking up chips, you can pick up peanuts instead because peanuts are gonna be high in fat, but they're a good fat. And they're gonna be, they're gonna give you a good amount of calories to keep you full longer than, rather than just saying this, I'm just gonna eat this, I'm just gonna eat this. Um, you know, cookies, uh, juice, uh, sports drinks, those are all things that are not very nutrient dense. Um, so those are not gonna make you feel well, they're actually gonna just help you eat more. They're gonna help you eat more. And if you're in my healthy eating challenge, you know from the very first weekly focus that I was going through so much sugar because I was eating crap. I was eating a crappy bread, I was eating jelly full of sugar, but when I started trying Transition. you have a sandwich with um, a whole grain with nuts and seeds it's like you just can't eat that stuff because it feel, it fills you up um, so you're not just gonna keep grabbing for it if you eat nutrient-dense foods it's gonna fill you up it's gonna make you feel good in the meantime um, another thing bonus tip um, don't drink your calories sometimes you can go through tons and tons of calories because you don't get the sensation of chewing up your food and swallowing it and having it fill you up um, juices sports drinks coke Anything like that, it's gonna go through your system so fast um, and either add calories or just add for the need for you to just grab more food. Um, pop and soda is designed to make you hydrated. It's designed to make you eat more and it's designed um, to make you buy more of it. But it's those little things that if you know that you're aware of them, you can make a change instead of just saying, I don't know, I'm eating healthy or I'm not eating that much, I'm still not losing weight. It's those little things that you can pinpoint to really make a difference. So you guys, I hope that you learned something from this video. If you ever have a question about weight loss or gaining weight or uh, just feeling great every single day, I'll be happy to help you. Um, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff, or join my public group on Facebook, which is called Fun and Sustainable Fitness by Marcy Barker, or um, I'll link to low to my healthy eating, I'll link below to my healthy eating challenge so you can get some information on just how to start making educated decisions and also getting personalized feedback from a trainer every single day. So, okay you guys, I will see you next week. Um, we're gonna do some full length workouts next week, so subscribe so you don't miss those. But anyway, have a fun and sustainable weekend. Make good choices that you're gonna be happy with all weekend long. You guys are awesome, I'll see you later.